be doing a leg destruction workout. So we're gonna be really training the legs today. We're outside because it's beautiful outside. We're gonna start off this workout with a goblet squat. If you have weight, take it out. If you don't have weight, do it without it. But before we do those goblet squats, we have to warm up with the resistance band. Again, if you have the resistance band, use it. If you don't have it, you don't need it. So I'm gonna put mine right above the knee. I'm gonna go in with a hip abduction, standing, walking, hip abduction, straight leg, big step, small step. I'm just gonna go all the way down and you get a little bit closer to you and then I'm gonna move it away. Have a Chance the Rapper on today. So that'll be the theme, Chance the Rapper. Here we go. Good, now that we did the straight leg, we're gonna go in with the bent legs. So you're gonna bend your knees and boom. Big step, small step, driving down on the heel, push the hips back a bit. There we go. If you wanna challenge yourself, go down deeper. It's gonna be a sweaty workout. The sun is out, it's strong. Good, now we're gonna go in with the straight leg again. This time we're gonna add kick, kick. So you're gonna step out to the side, Take that little step in, and then you're gonna kick your leg out on both sides. So you're gonna step, step, kick, kick, and we're gonna do that again, all the way there, all the way down. I definitely feel my hips. You should be feeling your hips. Here we go. And if you feel like your glutes aren't warmed up yet, just do another, pause the video, and then do another set of all three of those movements. I'm already starting to feel the burn. I don't wanna let my legs get too, too tired. Uh, before I get into the workout. So I'm gonna jump into the workout after this. I also just went on a six mile bike ride. So my legs are a little tired, um, but we're gonna get through the workout anyway. Step, step, kick, kick. All right, perfect. Take the band off, or if you wanna keep it on for your squats, you can. I'm gonna take mine off, because I know it's gonna ride up. Now I'm gonna grab my eight pound dumbbells, because that's the heaviest ones that I have. And we're doing four sets, 10 reps of the goblet squats. So I'm gonna go a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. My heels are in, my toes are pointed out, bringing the dumbbells up to my shoulders. And then I'm gonna bend my knees from there, pushing my hips back, nice and slow on the way down. Since the weight's not super duper heavy, we're gonna control that negative. And push right off through the heel. There we go. Four more, four, three, two, last one, and one. Perfect, we're taking a breather. We're not gonna superset that, we will get into supersets later. We're just gonna focus on that movement. I'm gonna grab some water. Drink some water with me too, why not? I always sip on water throughout the workout. Try not to take too big of gulps, just because you don't wanna have that feeling of a lot of water in your stomach. So let's get into it again, I'm feeling pretty good. It's hot out today, it's so good, it's so nice. Whenever the sun's out, you should go outside. All right, bring it up again, I'm gonna show you a side view. Shoulders back, chest is up, you're gonna push your hips back, and then push off through the heels. You can squeeze your glutes at the top as well. Again, we're gonna go in with 10, not counting out the negative, just go slower on the way down. Here we go. Five more. Woo! Two more. Two, last one, and one. Good, butterfly joined us. All right, we're gonna take a break again. Put the dumbbells down, breathe it out. Your first movement of your workout outside of your warm up is the most important movement, all right? So water again, we're just gonna relax. Give the muscles a second. There's no need to rush into the next thing. Let your body relax a little bit. That way when you go into it again, you can fully fulfill the exercise. We're not going for just a burn that's not our goal today we're gonna have leg day destruction you'll see so let's get back into it again same exact thing 
We have two more sets here and then we're gonna get into all the other fun stuff. Here we go. Shoulders back, chest is up. Take it down nice and slow and then push off through your heels, squeeze at the top if you want. The squeeze is not mandatory. Here we go. And by pushing your knees out, you're gonna be getting the glutes. Five more reps. Five, push, four, three, good, two more. Two, core tight, last one, and one. Perfect, drop them down, we'll get a little rest. And now we're gonna go back in, last and final set. There's so many positives to doing squats. Um, it's a really good way to build up the core and it's pretty safe to do. So it's definitely a good one. Obviously we're working out the legs, so you get the quad, hamstring, and glutes. You're gonna get a little mixture of all of those. You do get um, a slight low back in there because you do have to hip hinge when you go into a squat. So a lot of benefits to it. You should be doing squats. Let's go into it. I'm feeling pretty good. One more set. Bring it up. Shoulders back, chest up. Again, it's not super wide like a sumo squat. We want to keep it a little bit more on the narrow side, but just keep your heels and toes pointed out so you're getting that hip external rotation. One more time here before I bore you with a bunch of sciencey terms. Here we go. We're going to keep it up. Five more reps. Five, four, good. Three more, three, stay with it. Two more, two, last one, and one. Of course, I'm all about rest. So we're gonna take some rest again, and then we're gonna get into the second exercise, which I need to see what it is. All right, this is where the fun begins. We have deficit lunges, and I'm gonna use those eight pound dumbbells again. You don't need to use dumbbells, but if you have them, bring them out. Let's challenge ourselves today. So I'm gonna grab an elevated surface. This is my stepper. You can use stairs, maybe a little step stool. Make sure it's sturdy though. So, ooh, it was hot. All right, so we're gonna get into these deficit lunges. Deficit lunges, they're gonna work out the quad, glute, a little bit of that hamstring in there. Um, but if you do them right, you'll get a lot of glute. And that is definitely always the goal is to get some glute. So let's go into it. We're gonna do 10 reps each side. I'm so sorry in advance. These ones are definitely tough. Just like our friend Bulgarian split squats, those are tough too. So one leg is gonna go on top of the box. It's gonna be that front leg, not the back leg. The back leg's gonna be on the floor. Tippy toe on the back leg. That leg you're not putting too much weight on. You're gonna put most of the weight on that front leg. We're gonna take it down, go really deep. Push your hips back a little bit so you get more glute. And we're gonna go in 10 reps each side. And I don't wanna do these lunges forever. So once I do the one leg, I'm not taking a break. I'm just gonna go on right in with the other leg. So, but if you need to take a break, girl, you take a break. Three more reps. Three, push, two, last one, one. Woo! An outdoor workout is so hard. Here we go, other side, same thing. It's like you do the smallest little movement and you're like out of breath. Here we go, we're gonna go in. Other side, same thing, 10 reps. We're in this one together. My legs are already feeling it. Here we go. Push the hips back, get that glute in there. Push off through your heel. One more, one. Woo, all right. Let's put those weights down. Let's rest it out. Where's my water? Water's over here. We'll get some water, cool off a little bit. And then we're gonna go in with the second set. I always say, take as much rest as you need. Like if your heart rate's really up, wait for it to come down. If you just did something that was really heavy or really feeling it in your muscles, don't do another set unless you know 
you can get through the whole set. So we don't want to go into this again and only be able to complete seven reps. You want to be able to do the full 10. So you take that time. We'll get back into it again. I'm feeling pretty good. We're going to go right back in, grab onto those dumbbells. Here we go. 10 reps each side, one leg in the front, tippy toe in the back. And we have 10 reps, take it down and then push. How fun is this? So much fun. There we go. Let's keep it up. Five more reps. Five, push it. Four, three, woo. Two, last one, and one. Oh my goodness, that sun is gleaming. Feels good though. Other side, same thing, we could do it. All right, here we go. Take your time, slow on the way down. Push off, here we go. Perfect, five more reps. Five, four, three, come on. Two, last one, one. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling it. We gotta take a break again. I'm gonna make sure that this is still recording me. It's important. All right, it's still recording. That's a good sign. So let's rest it out, catch the breath. I apologize, I like to talk a lot. Here we go. Let's get into it again, feeling pretty good. Let's do it again, you got it guys. One last round of these, and then we're gonna go into a really fun one after. So, oh, just by the way, all of these movements are fun. I always say that movements are fun, they're all fun. It's good to move. Let's do it again. One leg in the front, tippy toe in the back. Here we go. Push off through your heels, slow on the way down. Make sure you feel what you're doing. You might not need to extend all the way up if you're starting to lose tension. I just seriously focus on my glute the whole time. And if I can focus on it and I can feel what's going on, um, it puts me in the perfect spot in my lunge. Two more. Two, don't push off that back leg, it's cheating. One, perfect, other side, same thing. And that's how you get a lot of quad activation is when you press up on your toes. Not our goal. Here we go. Six more reps, breathe. Six, five, woo, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, we're feeling that. All right, guys, take your stepper and throw it out. No, I'm kidding. Taking a step to the side. So we just did those deficit lunges. How fun were those? We're gonna go in with sumo squats. I'm gonna keep my dumbbells here. Um, and yeah, you can get water if you need. I'm feeling pretty good. We're only doing 10 reps here kind of threw this one in to bring down the intensity in between just because the deficit lunges are definitely tough but let's get into those sumos so you're doing a really wide stance so this is what's different from that goblet squat heels are in toes are pretty far out let's grab onto some weight there I'm gonna keep mine up at my shoulders I find that this is the most comfortable for me um, but you can also hold them down here as well I do that sometimes but Either way, or you can even rest them on your shoulders, all right? Whatever you want to do. So here we go. We're going to bring it down, push the knees out, and then right back up, squeeze the glutes on this one. Here we go. We're going in with a lovely 10 reps. Here we go. I hope you can hear the music. I've been on a Chance the Rapper kick. It's the only music I'll listen to. Here we go. Four more. Four, three, two, last one, and one. Woo! All right, dumbbells down. A bee just tried to attack me twice. Hopefully we're okay. Hopefully it leaves us alone. I hate bees. So here we go, same thing again. Heels and toes pointed out. That's like the only con of working out outside are the bugs. All right, here we go. Heels and toes pointed out. Let's bring them up here. Here we go. And take it down. Squeeze the glutes at the top. 
There we go. We got 10 reps here. I had a little bit of a break as I waited for that B to go away. Five more reps. Five, four, three, two, last one, one. Perfect, take them, throw them, we're resting. We have one more set of this and then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. All right, here we go. Sumo so squat again one more time. Let's do it, get that inner thigh there. Make sure you go wide on your legs, heels in, toes pointed out, arms are up. Here we go, and take it down and squeeze. The wind is blowing, it feels so good, guys. Keep it up, get down deep. Two more, two, last one, and one. Perfect. All right, guys, you're gonna bring back that stepper. All right, guys, the stepper's coming back. We're gonna get down, we're gonna go in with some single leg elevated glute bridges. So just lay down all the way on your back on the floor. You're gonna put one leg, all right. We're gonna lay all the way down. One leg's gonna go up in the air, just like this, and you're gonna push off through your heel. We're gonna go right here with 10 reps on each side. So just breathe through it. Push off through the heel. Keep the core tight. Two more, you could do it two and one. Let's switch it right over. Other side, same thing. Here we go. No time to waste here. And while one leg gets the rest, the other one is moving. Four, three, two, one. Good, feeling pretty good. We're gonna go right into it again. Same thing, other side. Push all the way up. The higher the elevation, the harder the movement is. But this is the highest I have over here. Good, switch it over, 10 reps. We're going right into it. I think we're gonna do all three sets without taking a break. Really get that hamstring in there. And five, four, three, two, one, hold it. All right, let's switch it over. Let's do it, one more set. Each side, hamstrings are feeling it. Here we go. Push off right through the heel. Good, here we go, other side, same thing. And since we're working on it, so hopefully we're getting a little bit of a tan here. That would be nice. Keep it up, five more reps. Five, four, three, two, one. And just for fun, we're gonna add this on. It wasn't originally part of the workout. We're gonna go in with both legs, 20 reps. All the way up, try not to touch the floor. Try to keep the tension all on the hamstrings. Don't lose it. 15 more reps, Woo, feel that burn. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, all right guys, that was a little tough there. We're gonna get water since we didn't get a water break there. Hopefully you stayed with me throughout that. All right. So now that we did that, we can put the stepper away. Again, just throw it out, throw it over to the side. We're gonna bring that band back on. We're gonna need it because we're gonna get into a superset and both exercises require the band. But if you don't have it, you don't need to um, skip out on the next two movements. You can still do them. So the first one's gonna be a side plank hip abduction. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in with the straight arm here, and then I'm going to lift my hips up, not too high, I'm gonna keep it pretty neutral with everything else, and I'll lift my leg up. We're gonna go in with 15 reps here. 
And my band is really tough, so this is as high as my leg's going. But if you don't have the band on, bring your leg up high. There we go. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're switching it right over. Other side, same thing, because what you do one way, you must do the other way. And you're going to bring your arms up again. Here we go. 15 reps. You don't have to add in that hip dip, but if you want to make this more challenging, add the hip dip and then go in to the hip abduction. But I'm just going to keep it here. I can definitely feel the burn. These are really challenging. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to superset those with donkey kicks. If you have a weight, you can put this on your knee. If you have the band, just keep the band on. We're going to bring the band underneath one knee. You're in tabletop position. And then from here, you're going to push up, pushing up through the heel, squeezing the upper glute. And again, we're going to do that 15 reps on each side. Definitely feeling the burn. Definitely getting the sweat. Hope you are too. Five more push through. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Switch it over. Other side, same thing. Here we go. Right into it. Ten more reps. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. That calls for definitely a water break. <laughs> we're gonna get water. Then we're gonna do one more set of those because we only have to do two sets. Yay! And then we're gonna finish off with a burnout. The burnout is an exercise that hasn't been done on any of my home workouts so far. So here we go. It's gonna be challenging. All right, right back into it again. Side plank, hip abduction. Here we go. Bent knee on the floor and we're bringing it up. Keep the hips pushed forward. Try not to let them fall back. And again, this is as high as my legs going right now. It's tired. Try your hardest though. Perfect. All right, we're switching over. Other side, same thing, 15 reps. Then we're done with these, thank goodness. Woo. Come on guys, oh, I'm definitely feeling it. Those are tough, they're all done with though. Let's get into these donkey kicks. We're finishing off strong here. 15 reps each side. Core is tight. You're really pushing up with the heel. Think about what you're doing. Don't just go through the motion. And if you have that band on, try to keep that tension in the band. Make it tough. Don't bring your knee down all the way. And one. Good. Switch it right over. Other side, 15 reps. We're getting right into it. Almost there, guys. Five more reps. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right. Now, for the most fun part, we have a wall sit. So we're going to do that until failure. And that's how we're going to finish off the workout. So just get near a wall. I'm going to use this fence here. We're going to take it down. You're going to get into that squat position. Make sure our 90 degree angles in the legs. And we're just gonna hold it here. If you wanna make it more challenging, put a weight on top, only one set here. And I'm gonna keep talking because that makes it a little bit easier on the exercise. But just breathe it, get a good burn in the legs. Quads will definitely be on fire from this. So just breathe it out. Woo. We're gonna hold it here. I wanna try to hold it for one minute. I wish I had a timer on me. That's okay. We're just gonna keep going. Try to stay with me. Try to beat me. Try to beat my wall sit time. 
that's your uh, little challenge. So try to do the amount of time I'm doing, but do a little bit more. Definitely feeling that burn. You know you're almost to failure when your legs start to shake. I'm not quite there yet, but I think it might be starting now. The wind feels nice though. Keep it up guys, hope you're doing good at home. Hope you've been keeping up with all of the workouts. Um, I have 40, this is day 48, so there's 48 workouts. You can always go through them. You can always repeat a workout if you thought one was really good. My legs are really starting to burn now. Ah! Um, so I'll close out the video here. Thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep it up. Keep working hard. And I'll see you in tomorrow's. Bye-bye. Woo! Oh, my goodness.